2004 Honda Odyssey EX. Uh, it's got about a uh, little bit over 120,000 miles on it. And what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to replace this bushing right there. Okay, this is a passenger side. Uh, one thing about this bushing, if you, you take any play, uh, then it's probably worn out. But I'm going to replace this. And um, the problem with this car is that it has this weird uh, cranking noise when it uh, hit a bump. Uh, and so I'm going to replace this uh, sway bar, stabilized bar, okay, uh, as well. Um, I take a look, uh, and I noticed, uh, I take a look underneath, I notice, uh, you see this, this area here is, you know, the grease is leaking out. It feels pretty good, but, uh, you know, this is the original Honda uh, Parks. Uh, so, um, you know, grease not supposed to come out like that. So, chances are this, this part is, is bad. And uh, uh, I'm going to replace this one and the bushing and also this lower control arm. As you see, there's a crack here. This look like it's, uh, well, this one needs to be replaced too. But for today, uh, just, um, just a bushing because that part came Alright, so with the 14 millimeter half in ratchets, I was able to I was losing this this uh, bolt here. Alright, got that bolt out. And the other one is a little difficult. I it's look like uh, I can't get in a wrench in there. It's look like I can uh Look like I can do it on top. Okay, so what I got is I got a 14 millimeter, the universal joint, 3A extension, and then the uh, this here is a half inch uh, extension joined together by the half inch to a 3A reducer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on top. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put this thing through because you can see the nuts all the way from up here. So, so I don't know. If you can see it clearly on the camera, but, but that's look. It look like. Look like that is right. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna lose it from the top. Okay, as you can see, I can uh, turn the ratchet on top. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see that clearly. There you go. There you go. So, so you go on top. And that's how you take the other bolt. Okay, once once that bolt's losing, you're gonna take that bolt out like so. Okay, next thing you want to do is take this bracket off. All right, there you go. This thing here you should be able to slice it off. Let me see. I'm gonna try to. You can. Pretty much slide this thing back and forth, All right? So you can push it this way, get it out like so. There you go. All right. Okay, so it's pretty hard to do it on one hand, but you line it up like that, and then you just open this up, and then you try to slide this thing out. Alright, I gotta put a camera down, but 
that's how that's how I remove it okay because I try to do it one hand and it's really difficult so basically you line up like that and you just open it up and and pull it out pull it out uh, this way okay uh, to the front of the car okay so I have to put the camera down and use my other hand and get back with you okay so I got it out and uh, okay so uh, here's for you to compare the new park and the old park okay uh, the new park is this one right there in the old park and uh, I don't know if it show clearly on the number but you see number 22 22 so uh, there it is I'm gonna slide this one back in and uh, I'm gonna tie up the boat okay I found it easier way to uh, make that thing slide now is to take this uh, sway bar stabilizer ling off. What I do, I disconnect the top with a 17 millimeter wrench. Soon I disconnect it, you have all the room in the world to play with. Okay, so I should be able to slide this in with one hand because now, you know, I mean, I can see daylight through the clearance. So I'm going to slide this in, place it in the position. Like so. Okay. Alright, so it's easy if you take these uh, sway bar stabilizers link. Just disconnect one of them. I'm going to replace them both in a way. But soon you disconnect it, as you see, the sway bar going to move up and down for you. And that way you have a lot of room to play with. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do now is just line up the boat and and uh, finger tie them all the way as much you can before you use a socket, okay? Because this thing have to tie down pretty good. So I'm gonna put a socket at the end here to go all the way on top and I'm gonna finger tie from there. But this front screw here look like look like uh, finger tight, you know, it's already started. So that's the hardest part about this is to line it up, but on one hand you can move this sway bar up and down, okay, side by side if you need to to align it. Okay, so uh, try the end camera over here. You can see it. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna kind of like slow that up, and then I'm gonna move to the other boat. So I'm going to let the socket of the other bolt still there because I'm going to tie this down and I'm going to torque this down to 29 pounds. You don't have a torque wrench, just tie it up as tight as you can. But the manufacturer call for a 29 pound torque on these bolts. Okay, for the bottom one here, as you can see, you can actually stick a uh, torque wrench to this and tore it down okay the other one you have to go to do a tour on top and that's it for the bushing on the uh, passenger side okay um, this is the uh, driver's side and uh, I already, uh, I already um, replaced these uh, bushing here uh, on this side is a little bit easier right? you can use a half inch ratchet with a 14 millimeter socket and it fit perfectly okay you have enough clearance to uh, break that loose on the back bolt one back here this is a 3 8 drive with a 14 uh, millimeter socket and uh, you know as you see you you have a good clearance here uh, so basically you you use a 3 8 in here and then you use a breaker bar to break that off and then you use the ratchets to, to uh, loosen the rest of them up. Um, I was able to take the, out the old one, put in a new one without disconnecting uh, the uh, uh, stabilizer bar here. So 
Uh, on this side, you're not going to have problem. Uh, for those of you who wonder if you can get this back bolt uh, on top like we, uh, like I did on the other side. Okay, so on top, what you want to do is uh, loosen this, uh, this hose clamp right here. You got a 10 millimeter um, socket. Just loosen the clamp, okay? And uh, basically, you just turn this thing 180 degrees so you have access to put in your your extension right right through the cable right not through the cable but underneath this cable here so what you want to do is you want to put that thing right underneath these uh, throttle cable okay and it's gonna go it's gonna go right under the brake booster and you're gonna see the uh, the steering um, rubber boots down there. Okay, so up here, this one, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right there, all right? So right underneath the uh, brake booster, and uh, and you see that rubber boot down there? That's a, that's a steering wheel, uh, uh, the uh, rubber for the steering wheel. Okay, so what you wanna do, you put that right over. And then you go down, down here, yeah, let me see if I can put the camera in position, down here, and, and as you see, it's almost nearly missed that bolt, so you just have to guide it. All right, with the universal joint right there okay so you're able to guide it in and uh, loosen it you know from the top or tighten it from the top uh, so doing it on top it can be done but like I say on this side uh, you pretty much can do it uh, from the bottom these old rubber uh, you know as you see it looked like Look like these white thing. I noticed I um, it came off the old one, but I saw I saw these white thing on the new one too. Okay, so I think this is a protected. It, it looked like wax material. Okay, you know, like on this one, I have to scrape it out to show you a number twenty two. So it looked like it's a uh, look like they have a they coat it with this wax material, uh, and um, and so with that in mind, you no know, don't. I guess these are. That, I guess this, that's why this thing lasts so long, right? Because these protected layer. So I wouldn't recommend you uh, clean this off, uh, because you know I noticed when I install in a new one, I noticed there's a there's a layer of of these white thing uh, coated on a new one. Yeah, for maintenance, I guess I'm gonna start using this uh, 303 protectant uh, every six months when I change the oil. So uh, that's going to be uh, that's going to be my I guess you can call it a loop job for these uh, and all these uh, I guess all the rub parks down there. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope this uh, video will help you prepare to uh, you know replace this bushing. Like I say uh, it can be done.